What's going on everybody? Dire on Fire here, back to cast another fantastic match between Izal and this time it seems to be Ryo and his really really strong Ike. A match by the way which is sponsored by Bogart Smash Tour and MVG so make sure to check them out in the links below. And this set is going to be a best 3 out of 5 at 2 stocks. And we're going to be starting on Smashville. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, let's see here. Yes, this is this is going to start exactly the way I thought, which is just Link pelting Ike with a series of projectiles. Oh, wow, he actually could have dragged him down if he wanted to, if he held down on that recovery. Ryo could have dragged him down, but instead they're getting right back into it. And Neutral is being uh, taken over here by Ryo. Oh, nice guess on that down smash. I mean, the guess was nice, the execution wasn't that great, but uh, the attempt was admirable. So right now, Ryo's weathering the elements. He's got fire and wind to deal with. He's doing a decent job of hanging in there, though. He pretty much has to do all the entry, all the work getting in. Look at that. Fantastic string there. Trying to close it off with a dash attack. Instead, uh-oh. Side B's right into a bomb. Oh, Izzard trying to do something fancy with that back here to edge guard. All right, let's see if he can land that back here. You know he wants it. And he lands it. Like a sharpshooter. And when you see an Ike land a back here like that, it's just so very obvious that they've been using Ike for a long time. To be accurate with his power, you need lots of experience. Otherwise, you won't close out stocks. Alright, he tries to bomb that recovery. Didn't quite aim it right. Alright, he's got to figure something out here. Ooh, neutral air is going to throw the sparks out, but it's still not enough. Third time to charm. Oh, not this time. Well, too bad. But the second hit of the forward air ends up doing it anyway. And of course, Ryo not flustered by this kill. Jumping right back in there. And see, that's the uh, unfortunate uh, side effect of fighting a character with so projectile heavy. Uh, and, and you have no projectiles yourself. Is Even if you had the lead, you're still forced to go in there. Like, you can't sit on the clock because then he's just going to pelt you and eventually... <laughs> eventually get a hit by that uh, uh, <laughs> eruption taking game one <laughs> I got interrupted by uh, <laughs> by what I saw mind you guys I haven't seen any of this this is I'm casting this live I don't you know take the back door and, and, and watch the match before I cast it even though it's a video no nope, I'm going into this fresh I think that's the funnest way and we went up to uh, battlefield oh hit him with the stick <laughs> His, he- his head rear back on that one. Luke was like, holy Jesus, that hurt. Oh my god. Alright, pelting him with these, uh, awesome aerials into ground game pressures. He's all trying to keep him locked down and reclaim that percent lead, but Rio is just too solid with these, uh, aerials. Jab, jab, Rio jumps right out of there. Ooh, if that forward smash would've connected, something bad could've happened there. Again, the wind sending him astray. Let's see if he gets something out of this. Oh, the double air dodge! You can just tell he's all it's like frightened out of his mind. <laughs> Off the edge at 100, 100 plus percent against Ike is, uh, man, yeah, it just sends shivers down your spine. Neutral air stopping the side beat before it gets going, but he's still back on stage. And this time he's having a uh, Rio reeling back on his heels. Nice bomb toss there, keep him at bay. Look at him attacking him from all angles, throwing a bomb forward, jumping, throwing a bomb down, coming back down with the back air. He's really trying to tackle this from all angles. But the only angle that was tackled right now is that back air straight to his face. And that takes stock one. Jab. Woo! Look at that string. I, I don't know about the up smash. Maybe an up tilt just to try to get a quick landing coverage. But I don't know if the up tilt covers the platform. So, hey, he's the Ike expert, not me. Mm, second hit. That trusty second hit of the forward air always manages to come through in the clutch. I expected a dash grab there, honestly. I've been kind of... <laughs> Jesus, the pivot forward smash. This guy's definitely feeling the groove right now. Alright, nice jump bomb toss. Whoa, that was super cool, but it didn't do anything. 
But hey, that entertained me, and I'm sure it entertained you guys, so that was worth it. And... Oh, I was afraid he fell too fast, and this time, Gimp actually clutches it. Not a, it's not too often that you see Gimp happen that late in the game. So, good stuff to Izal there, showing himself up. Alright, the match is tied up 1-1. One, one. We're going to FD, there's no shenanigans here. Alright, of course, starting as is per the usual for Link. Raining down a hellfire of projectiles, making sure you keep every single obstacle in his way, because when I gets near you, it's not fun for you. The boomerang, maybe a mistimed boomerang there, and the reset! Oh, wow. That was a pretty awesome setup, but he, I, I guess he didn't expect uh, or account for a certain type of knockback. He went, he went the other way, whereas Link went uh, to the left, so that sucks. Trying to land with that neutral air, successful. Yes, those long range moves actually almost took Link out very early. And that's exactly the type of recovery he needed to avoid the, uh, the eruption. I had a strong feeling that even if he had let it go perfectly, Link was just too far away. But that's just my assumption. Nice, three jabs, get him off the stage. Oh, look at the speed on this Link. He's not playing any games. Bringing him right back into the second end of the forward air, but this time isn't able to close that out as we've seen in the up tilt. Ike at 101, but there's nothing basic about this Ike. Oh, yeah, he's just gonna hold it. He doesn't want to risk rolling out of the way and getting clipped on the beginning of the rolling frames. It's kind of kind of sucks when that happens. There is the Zare. I was kind of wondering where the Zare was from his all. And now he's starting to bring it out. It's like when you get pushed to an adverse situation, it kind of, uh, it tends to, to wake up some of those, uh, innate strategies that you, you may not be using in the beginning. So, like, it forces you to think, like, what else could I be doing to take care of this guy? So, let's see if he, if he returns the Zare in combat. Up to. Oh, he went straight for the up smash this time. And that up back air is not going to beat Ike's sword. Alright, we're seeing some pretty overall solid play from both competitors here. Runs right past the bomb, doesn't want to deal with that. Poking him with that sword. Ike's shield a little bit worn down. While he's not... When, when, when In this type of matchup, if you get your shield worn down by Link, it, you, you know, you don't have to worry about getting your shield broken that much, but you're still susceptible to getting your shield, you know, getting your shield bypassed because it's too small, and that's just taking unnecessary damage, so you still kind of have to play with an with a air of caution. Oh, wow, the fact that they didn't give that to him is astounding to me. He was probably just a smidge off on the, on the positioning. That is a shame. They are right back at it relatively even percent. A little bit of patience from both players there. Nice, reading these bombs down. This guy, he just, he just wants to rack up enough damage so that any one of his potent sword swings will take uh, take out the stock. Until then, it's all projectiles. Oh, this little genius made the, the right choice with that up -y there. Rio overstepping his boundary there, so he ends up paying the price of dropping the whole match. You don't understand, you get caught up in the heat of battle and you just want to get out there and kill him, but at that percent, you really just gotta play with reservation. You know, for a second I thought he was gonna hang back for a bit and recollect himself, but nope, he just wants to get right back out there and tear him to shreds, huh? Uh, that wind is not gonna play into effect, and this time he misses the reset, but it doesn't matter because he lands the fantastic spike. It's the same attempt he tried before, this time, it proved pretty fruitful. Izal's gonna have to keep that runoff spike in mind. It's weird how <laughs> when Izal's put in a, in a, you know, disadvantage, he actually brings out the Zares. But the second he's actually winning, it kind of trickles away. It's odd. Interesting. Nice pivot grab there from Ryo. Alright, get that pummel in. Make sure your damage is correct. This guy does not want to let him land. Still has it now. now he finally landed after like 10 seconds. 
back throw, get him off stage. Surprised he didn't pull out a bomb on that one. And Rio opts to recast the bomb. Oh, and he tries to think on his feet and use the wind of the boomerang to help boost the sisters forward smash. I like the fact that he's thinking outside the box. He's trying to think of something to give him an edge here. But there's not many matches left to make mistakes, so... <laughs> Look at this guy playing American Gladiator trying to get past all these projectiles. Maybe he might want to slow things down and just walk and perfect shield. Good spacing from Izzo. That double jump fake out, dash attack. You never want to get hit by that move. Oh, oh if he had waited just a second. That's going to nick him in the feet, yep. Landing these very awkward strings, but it doesn't matter because he lands a two-stock. As you can see here, momentum is everything. The second you lose the first stock in this game, trying to win the match becomes such an uphill battle because you, you absolutely have to approach. You can't sit back on the clock, you have to land that killing blow, which is totally different from getting a combo. Oh, a little too early for that down air, I suppose. He's busting out that four tilt. You didn't really see much of that four tilt so far. But it seems like the, the later the matches go, the more of Izal's arsenal he starts to, you know, unleash. A little bit of a uh, <laughs> epic clash there, kind of like a cutscene fight. That was pretty cool. Now, uh, Izal's the one getting outranged here. This is definitely a very, very tough fight for both opponents for different reasons. Ryo has to get in, and then Izal has to... You know, he has the luxury of the uh, projectiles, but his killing options are not as fleshed out and reliable as Ike. So, you know, you can rack up all the damage you want, but for the most part, all you're doing is is building Ike's rage. And when you're trying to get in, uh, when you're trying to get in for the kill, that's his chance to reverse it on you. So, this is definitely not just a walk in a park, a typical camp fest on Link's side. Wow, and he just kind of fades away, falls back into, into dreamland. Nice pressure there for both opponents. Double back air. And he wants something good here and he finds it spinning the sword over his head. Because I don't play. This guy's just throwing moves out there at a phenomenal rate. Keep it real guessing. Nice little duel of fates there. I like when they both jump at each other with a sword attack and one of them wins. Oh man, good DI there from Izal, getting himself out of that tricky situation. Oh, and ends up hurting himself with that bomb pull. And in a match like this, again, percents are just super, super crucial. Ike has just so many different moves and so many different ways to, to take her stock out, whether it's with a forward tilt, a back air, up air, you name it. Nice. Ooh, triple series there. Of course, is all playing up his time off stage. Make a fantastic recovery. Good turnaround toss. Landed with that bomb. Mmm, this item play is looking sharp. <laughs> this guy does not want to lose like this. Okay. Alright, both players jumping over each other and running under each other. It's looking like a Broadway play here. No one taking damage for a pretty long time here. At least when it comes to any meaningful damage. Oh, that dash attack. You know he wants those all the time. When you're like close to 100%, you gotta watch out for that dash attack. I think take you out. There's his airs that it should have really been present the entire set. That's neither here nor there at this point. Now he just wants to make sure that he keeps them far and away at projectile distance. But he's going to take his jabs, he's going to take his physical attacks when he sees them up. Oh, that almost could have turned into something bad. Oh man, that single hit of the back here. This is the most tense part of the set right now. Oh man, rolling back up into his bomb, giving up stage control because of that. And that effectively contributed to his death here. Once he got hit by that bomb and tossed him off stage, and Rio just held the pressure down and secured the match. Let's take a look at some instant replays here. That was that successful, successful eruption there. 
this one, the bomb the bomb catch that did not prove fruitful actually ended up getting himself killed. <laughs> Probably some intricate planning from Izal's part there. Boom, the successful spike at 39%. Back air. Oh, that one arrow to the chest. He just fell clutching the arrow like, no! <laughs> and of course, that dash attack. Can't get grabbed by Ike. Oh, that turnaround. Very, very cheeky with that up B. Definitely gotta watch how you overstep your boundaries when you get off stage and single jab into four tilt. Sealing the deal there. What a fantastic set top representatives of each of their respective characters giving the best of what they have here in this set and of course if you want to check out the rest of the content make sure to click those hot links if not just dive right into his channel start looking around start exploring make sure to follow like and subscribe do all that good stuff and of course if you enjoyed my commentary drop me a follow too on twitter the link is in the description below this is die on fire see you guys next time